Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, one cruise line has jumped the gun. They are the very first cruise line to end some vaccine requirements. The first one. That's right, and it's not a small cruise line. It's part of the Royal Caribbean Corporation Celebrity Cruise Line, their luxury brand. They've decided to cancel mandated vaccines in, now here's the kicker guys, it, it's, it's only in one part of the world right now, in Europe. So in Europe right now, if you're going on a celebrity cruise, you do not need to be vaccinated if you're 18 years of age or under. So if you're considered an adult, 18 and you know, over 18, yes, you do need to be vaccinated still, at least for now, but they have ended it for a great deal of families now who are looking to travel in Europe. You still need to have tested. You still need to be tested ahead of time. Uh, if you are vaccinated and um, heading to the cruise in Europe, you need to have a antigen test or a PCR test two days before your cruise. If you're unvaccinated, you need to have a test one day before your cruise. And I've been saying all along with the amount of cases on cruise ships and everything right now, I really don't think testing's even doing a thing because there's cases almost on every single ship across the world. There's cases in every single business across the world. It, 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 uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything anymore because it's so infectious now, but it's also far less severe than when this ever happened at the beginning. So um, I think people are just living with it now and seeing what happens but they are the first major cruise line to end any vaccine mandate of any kind, even if it's only for 18 years of age and over. You got, uh, and under, sorry. You have to test the waters, right? You just can't come out one day and say, no more vaccine requirements. Because then you're gonna, people are gonna say, well, you know what? I kind of like sailing on a vaccinated only cruise ship. So instead of going on Celebrity, I think I'll go on Princess Cruise Line because they're still doing vaccinated cruises. You don't want to be that one that steps out of the box. On, and on the flip side, you will have other people who aren't vaccinated say, well, I'm gonna go on Celebrity Cruise Lines because uh, Princess is the one still asking for vaccination and I'm going to go on there because I don't want to be vaccinated. It, you see, it's kind of like a catch-22 system out there, but being the first, I know it's only 18 and under and I know it's only in Europe right now, but things that happen in Europe come to the United States usually fairly quickly. Europe ended testing for flights going in a month later United States ended testing for flights back to United States you see how things kind of coincide somebody's got to be first and in this case celebrity has jumped out and said any anybody 18 and under now if their cases spike on those ships we'll see what happens and it's not you know it sounds like because yesterday we announced that Viking has said that they're not going to pre-test anybody anymore to get on their cruise ships and everyone's going, well, let's hope it goes to everybody, right? Let's hope that spreads around to everybody. And now when you hear, you know, unvaccinated, you don't need to be vaccinated to get back on a cruise. A lot of people are cheering that on. Let's hope we get to there. But there's still other places that are putting more restrictions back on, like Holland America and Princess, adding the masks back on because of the outbreak in Alaska that's going on. And yes, there is an outbreak going on in Alaska. My group cruise just ended on Saturday, the first part of it, and I have had people text me and message me that they caught, have now tested positive when they got back home from that cruise.
not not a fun situation at all i hope if you did and you're on that group i hope you're doing as mild symptoms as i had i really hope everyone's doing well sorry you caught covid it seems to be the the way of the world right now anywhere you go you can catch it at any given time anywhere uh you know our prime minister here in canada just caught covid for the second time after visiting the united states uh for uh the second time in five months so it, it just goes to show it doesn't matter how much you protect yourself and how much it just seems to be very very viral right now and you can catch it the the good thing is the good thing is the vast 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 majority 99.9 percent .9 of all of us out there hardly have any symptoms at all anymore from this strain of the virus before there was a lot more, a long COVID. There is, you know, long, you know, a lot more suffering. A lot more people in hospital. A lot more people on respirators. But we have medication now that also deals with a lot of this stuff that we didn't have before. We have the vaccines that keep the symptoms and the actual infection to a minimum of what you would you, it was before. So, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of like going on a vaccinated only cruise in a way, but I'm also at that point saying that we got to get on with our lives. We got to get on with uh, just getting everybody back to work and get that supply chain back running and stop the prices skyrocketing through the roof uh, on everything from food and gas to housing. It's, it's an incredible thing that's going on right now. And uh, having these vaccine mandates and things like that are just are, are just adding to that problem in a lot of cases. So, yeah, I guess in a way I'm happy that Celebrity Cruise Line, at least in Europe, 18 and under, you no longer have to be vaccinated to get on board. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. Is that a good move? Do you think they should have waited a little longer? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'd really like to know your opinion. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs, more cruise news from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.